Good morning, everybody. So, happy Halloween. The following calls are taken from editions of Mail Call, printed in the Herald Mail from October 17 to October 28, 2011, which can be viewed online in their entirety at www.herald-mail.com. I don't really have the chin for it, do I? First up from Washington County. I'm a senior citizen. Please do not put the senior citizen's place out at the college. They want to make downtown Hagerstown to come back to what it used to be. Put it downtown. It will draw a whole lot more people than the college would. Sure, they, they want to revitalize downtown. They want to restore it to the, the thriving retail and entertainment district that it was 40 or 50 years ago, but they don't want to use the original people. I mean, look, you don't revitalize a city by putting a place downtown for all the old people to gather and play checkers and bitch about the grandkids. You revitalize a downtown by building libraries and museums and theaters and then saving money by getting the old people to volunteer. I've read so much about this senior citizen project and the new building and all that and that everybody wants it up on West Washington Street. I'd just like to ask someone or all of the people out there, maybe I missed it, maybe I didn't, but I don't remember it, the building on Potomac Street, which was known as the old YMCA. There's plenty of parking in the back. From the days when my children were younger, there was a swimming pool, there was a track. Couldn't it be renovated and made into a senior citizen center? North Hagerstown. The old YMCA building is privately owned. Do you think we should ask the owner first, or just hire the contractors and tell them to get to work? This call is concerning the senior center at the community college. I think they're putting it at the community college so the low-income handicapped people in the heart of Hagerstown can't will not be able to get to it. It'll be too much of a hardship, and financially, a lot of them won't be able to afford the transportation. But the higher income, higher class of people, again, catering to the people with money, and forget the people that don't have money, they're the only ones that really need it. Falling Waters, West Virginia. <sighs> okay, yeah, sure, let's talk about the Senior Citizen Center some more. Um, yeah, okay, that's probably why they want to build it out at the college, not because that's a beautiful area where there's still some open space and where they can build a brand new modern facility that has been specifically designed to suit its purpose. No, that's, that probably has nothing to do with it. It's, it's more likely that the rich old people want it there so that they can disenfranchise the poor old people. Um, look, I instinctively side with the poor any time they come into conflict with the rich, but there's just no conflict here. Do you really think that the wealthy old people, the wealthy senior citizens in our community are going to be flocking to a senior center? Why would they do that? They have houses and friends. There are many beautiful fields of sunflowers off of Spickler Road. It's only about one-tenth of a mile off Spickler Road, off 40, headed west toward Clear Spring. The sunflowers are simply beautiful, and it would be worth everyone's while to stop by and view the sunflowers. Clear Spring. Oh, I had, a, I had such a good line for this, and I forgot what it was. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Who are you, the president of the Garden Club? I totally agree with Tom Wilhelm's letter. Senior Citizens Center not needed. Oh, really? This fucking Senior Center again? Alright, this is the last one, and then we're not talking about this anymore, alright? I totally agree with Tom Wilhelm's letter. Senior Citizen Center not needed. I am 88 and find plenty to do to occupy my time. I will never use a Senior Center. Who are these people who expect to be entertained on the taxpayer's money? Paramount. Oh, Jesus, just let the old people have the Senior Citizen Center already, all right? Christ, the ones who make use of it will enjoy it and get something out of it, and the ones who don't want to go can play shuffleboard somewhere else. Who cares? I mean, as long as our Senior Citizen Center in Hagerstown doesn't turn out to be as extravagant as that one they have in Washington, D.C., I'd like to know how the citizens of Washington County feel about this. Elementary school kids get on the bus at about a quarter after seven in the morning to go to school, or actually have to be at school about a quarter after seven, seven thirty. Kindergartners don't eat lunch until ten of one, and the children get out of school at two fifteen. 
I'd like to know how the people of Washington County feel about this. I'm very disappointed to know that my kindergartner is not eating lunch until 10 of 1. Washington County. How do I feel about it? I feel great because apparently we've solved every other problem in the fucking world. So much is expected from grandparents these days, even from grown-up grandchildren. But on Grandparents Day, on the grandparents' birthday, we don't even receive a cheap card. Hagerstown. Oh, tell it to your bridge club at the senior center for fuck's sake. It's Halloween! Can we talk about Halloween stuff, maybe, please? Please, Washington County, have trick-or-treat the last Thursday in October, like it was for decades and decades, instead of everybody having it on a different night and not knowing where halfway ends and Williamsport begins, or halfway ends and Hagerstown begins, or Williamsport ends and Fairplay begins, or Downsville or Sharpsburg or whatever. Just have it all the last Thursday in the month. Then everybody will know when it is, and neighborhoods won't change it. They'll just have it on that day. Washington County. How much candy do you fucking need? I mean, look, you want the whole county to have trick-or-treat on the same night? Why? So you can start all the way at the west end of Hancock and work your way clear to the Frederick County line? Look, you want to take the kids trick-or-treating? Here's what you do. You find out when your town is having it. You walk the kids up and down the street, you knock on the doors of the people who have their lights on, they open the doors, they smile at your kid's stupid fucking Disney princess or plastic Iron Man costume, and they throw some candy in their plastic pumpkin-shaped bucket. And in response to this, what do you say? Here's a hint. You don't say, Oh, why can't Washington County just have trick or treat the same night all over? You say, Thank you. To the person or persons who keeps ripping the Obama 2012 bumper sticker off my car, I want you to know that each time you violate my car, I make another campaign contribution to the re-elect Obama website and order a replacement bumper sticker. I can keep this up until the election. I am sure President Obama thanks you for your unintended support. Hagerstown. Awesome. And let this be a lesson to my fellow liberals, all right? Do not waste your time stealing the Republican bumper stickers off of the cars of the people who already bought them. You steal them from the vendors who are selling them. Got that? This is on Maryland taxes on tobacco products. I see where the coalition and this Vincent DeMarco, president of Maryland Citizens Health, is on it again about raising taxes on cigarettes and tobacco products. You know something? This is a free country, man. You guys have hit the smokers. If Maryland doesn't want people to smoke in the state of Maryland, then they should ban cigarette smoking, tobacco, and everything else in the whole state. All you're doing is discriminating against people, raising taxes on cigarettes and stuff. Hagerstown. It's a sales tax on a non-essential. It doesn't discriminate against anybody. If you don't want to pay it, don't buy the cigarettes. If you do want the cigarettes, pay the tax. Stop trying to turn the affordability of your stupid bad habit into a civil rights issue and grow the fuck up. Several Democrats have been criticizing Mr. Herman Cain for running for office as a Republican. Now I heard Hillary making fun of him to some Mideast leader, saying he was the president of Godfather Pizza, but slurring him. After all, a black man isn't allowed to think outside the liberals' rules. I suppose the liberal elites cannot imagine someone from humble beginnings actually works his way to the top without government funds or rich parents. I am Caucasian, but hats off to this gentleman. Hagerstown. Personally, I have no problem with Herman Cain being a successful businessman. Good for him. Doesn't count against him as far as I'm concerned. What does count against him is the fact that he's a silly man with silly ideas. I'm sorry. And I don't have a problem with us celebrating people who pull themselves up to the top through hard work from humble beginnings. I think that's great. What I don't understand is why so many of them insist on hanging their cocks over the side and pissing on the people that are still down at the bottom. And finally, from Sharpsburg, I saw on the news that the union is now joining the protesters against Wall Street, but union pensions are invested into Wall Street. That's how they make their funds. Also, the people saying raise the taxes on the rich are the ones that don't work and don't contribute to the tax system. You know, people who are invested in Wall Street have the most urgent motive of all for wanting to reform it. The goal is not to prevent Wall Street from ever making money ever again. The goal is to 
stop the financial industry from taking money from those people who really need it and giving it to those who already have more than enough. I thought conservatives were against redistribution of wealth. Or is that only when it moves from the top down? Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween!